Clothes at their basic level are functional. But if you get it right, then you do have an emotional connection to them. But it's only through wearing the clothes that you get that real depth of emotional connection. And that's where you value your clothes to the point that you're bound to keep them for longer. I think as a nation, we've, we've stopped caring about our clothes. I think it's difficult for people to care about their clothes when you can buy an item of clothing for less than the cost of a cup of coffee. You know, you can buy a top on several of the fast fashion websites for three quid. You know, a cup of coffee at the station <laughs> this morning <laughs> was three pounds 85. You know, what, how on earth has that come to pass? When you are looking to buy a new garment of clothing, ask that question, you know, do I need this first and foremost? And what is my cost to wear projection? Because although certain quality woolen garments, natural fiber garments, they may be a little bit more expensive, but when you project that onto five or 10 years or even longer uh, in the case of uh, some wools and tweeds, Think about that and then all of a sudden it might not seem quite so expensive and that's where you will get proper investment. And I do find that the better quality uh, clothing that you have, the less that you need. Here in the UK, you know, we've got uh, an incredible uh, natural resource in wool. Uh, if you look at British wool and the, the spectrum of what they now do, you know, from Harris Tweed and a very specific um, type of product, all the way through to the accessories market as well. I think these all have an inherent quality in them because the raw wool, the base resource is good, but also the production in the UK tends to be of a very high standard as well. There's also something really nice about being closer to the source um, of the, the product, all the way from the wool that we take in to the weavers themselves and the finishing process. And I think when you are aware of the complexity of the production, you have a much closer relationship to the end product itself. So falling out of your wardrobe, I feel like it's something that me and my friends constantly are complaining like, um, what is it, a wardrobe full of clothes and nothing to wear. I think people think they can fall back in love with their wardrobe by just buying um, new clothes. I think it's definitely not the way forward and you need to kind of always fall back in love with the clothes that you've already got. And um, so finding those, those garments that have, you know, maybe got a really nice memory link to them or, you know, we've all got them, the ones that you keep in the back of your wardrobe that you're gonna go back to, because you can't let go because there is that kind of emotional attachment. Wool is, kind of the most sustainable fiber, especially in the kind of UK climate. When it comes to sustainable materials and what's worth investing in, I always say it's sort of spend what is the most that you can spend on something. Go as natural as possible. And it's a bit like food, isn't it? You look on the kind of clothing kind of care label. Ideally, it would be one or two fibers, sort of a wool or cashmere, rather than any of the other additions that kind of come to it. It's these fibers that really keep you warm. I have so many friends growing up who said that they were cold and ultimately they put on a wool jumper and they realize just how warm it keeps you. Sustainability has become more important to me. I mean, when I was probably in my twenties, I was just buying inexpensive clothes from the high street. But then I bought more and more things from charity shops. I mean, this dress, I don't know how old this is. This is, I've had it for years. 
Yeah, I've definitely been guilty of uh, borrowing, shall we say, a few things from your, from your wardrobe and then just not ever giving them back to you. There was that blue vest, I don't know if you remember that. It was just a really nice blue vest. I didn't even know that had gone. <laughs> <laughs> so this jumper, for example, uh, is, is a jumper that you passed down to me. Um, and I love, you know, I love to wear it for that reason, but also I think it is, you know, really, a really nice jumper. And if you ever feel like giving it back to me, that would be fine. <laughs> In terms of uh, future trends, what we are seeing is a push for people to use more natural fibre or recycled fibre. People are thinking of recycling, reusing or reselling. In our industry at the moment, the biggest thing going forward is going to be recycling because when you recycle, and this is never a fan of using 100% recycled fibre because when you recycle, you're, you're chopping, chopping, chopping into its shortest hair. So what you want to do is you'll make short recycled hair with virgin, long hair, and that creates a real staple fibre and better performance. So we would never advocate 100% recycling because your garments will fall apart. Uh, but if you can mix a bit of the old, a bit of the new, you still use new, cheap or happy, the environment's a little bit more happy and you get to get a beautiful jump at the end of it. Fashion, when it's done at the right level, goes just beyond the functional. It can be art, it can just be stylish, but it can also be cool. It's quite easy to acquire uh, really good quality wool garments uh, in you know resale or even at charity shops. But I think sometimes you've got to make that investment as well, but then in order that that becomes an investment and not just an expense, you've got to project your relationship. Here in the UK, you know, we've got uh, an incredible uh, natural resource in wool. The base resource is good, but also the production in the UK tends to be of a very high standard as well. And for me, that then makes these garments and these accessories an investment. Clothing recycling uh, in this country is filled with clothes that still have their tags on because they're brand new. You know, we just don't care you know we are very thoughtless when it comes to our clothing and that is causing huge problems clothing has an incredibly harmful effect on the planet on our own personal health i think as consumers there are lots of things that we can do really simple things we can do i mean firstly we just think more about buying something you know even if it's inexpensive think think carefully about why you're buying it and what that purchase is is really doing Think about where the material comes from. Think about who's made it. And then think about what happens to it when you stop wanting to, to use it.